Region 5 where residents have been affected by the recent spring tides. At the moment, government agencies are working to clean up much of the affected areas. And of course, today, many of them distributed hampers to affected families. I'm sure tomorrow the supermarket wouldn't get any sale from the <laughs> area. area. No. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. Okay, my dear. Still holding on to her sense of humour, even in the midst of a difficult situation. Zabi the Bacchus of Gleaser's Lots represents one of 43 households who received a packed food hamper on Friday. From Minister of Agriculture with Responsibility for Rural Affairs, the Honourable Valerie Adams Yearwood, as the government carried out relief efforts for residents affected by recent flooding in the Mahaika Berbice region, due to unusually high spring tides. The flood affect me very bad because my husband, he have livestock, he have cattle, we have sheep, and we took the sheep them across the road and somebody come in and carry away nine for us along with a big ram. And my, my husband, myself, my son, and my daughter and, and, and my granddaughter living with me. I'm so happy. It was a shock. It was amazing to know I get so many things. So I don't need to go to the market tomorrow. Thank you very much for everything that you all provide for us. I am living at Haidam. It's me and two children, a daughter-in-law and two grandchildren. Long way, I'm very much thankful. I'm very much thankful for it. Everything destroyed, everything. The livelihood for me was uh, animal and um, I have livestock. Everything washed away. Everything in the house, Destroy, destroy, destroy. The government, I, I, I thank you great, great, great. You remember we? Yes, I thank you. I thank you a great lot. I thank you. That you, you remember we? In a situation that we can um, go on with life. My main concern is my well, because fish is more my livelihood. I have like six fish born. But I had a visit from fishery and they promise that as soon as the fish can tolerate the water they will assist me to get back some fish so I can start back but now after the water recede we found out that the well is not flowing. A total of 43 families were given food hampers to last more than one week along with sanitation agents to aid in the cleanup efforts. The Civil Defence Commission CDC also continued its relief efforts on Friday distributing clean drinking water and cleaning agents to affected families. Later on, Minister of Natural Resources, the Honourable Raphael Trotman, also joined the exercise in Region 5, meeting with residents and assuring them that the government was working to ensure these events, though acts of nature, does not affect them this severely again. I'm happy that I was able to join, if only briefly, Minister Patterson, Minister within the Ministry of Agriculture, MP Jenny Wade and other uh, residents of Region 5 to one, hear the concerns and two, be able to respond to them and also to share a little package. So we try to tabulate how much has been lost and to see how best government can uh, replace uh, what has happened. What we're seeing here is Mother Nature demonstrating that she is in charge, that this is her earth. So this is known in law as an act of God. But governments do have responsibility to at least take care of the people. And so while it may not have been government's fault, and we're certainly not responding to a situation of blame, we're certainly responding to a situation of need. In the meantime, as Minister Adam Zier would engage with the Chief Executive Officer of the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, NDIA, Frederick Flats, and the affected residents, she expressed her satisfaction with a solution to the current flooding situation, which the NDIA came up with. Our plan, as we stated here, I think some time ago when Minister Holder was here, is to build a secondary dam between Fairfield and Danzig. The secondary dam would be very high about eight feet high above the land and about 12 feet top width. It's a significant dam. And that dam will start at the city fence. It will cross the Bellamy Canal, coming about 800 feet into the land. 
then go parallel to the city fence and come back in at um, come back in at um, Fairfield. Hearing the plan now from Mr. Flats, we are confident that the expected um, spring tide in November, Mr. Flats, that we're not going to see what we see here in this se um, season. Well, it's going to be much better. We, we hope to finish the work in a short time. That's why, we're, that's why we'll be using about 12 excavators. From as early as Monday, November 4th, the NDIA will begin dispatching 12 excavators to the High Dam area in Region 5 for dredging of the Belmy Canal and construction of a higher dam. Remember to stay with your DPI team at dpi.gov.gy. We're going to continue to bring you updates in this region, of course, every other region across Ghana. With senior videographer Kenyan Bacchus, Felicia Valenzuela, Info Hub. <music>